What's up, family? Man, I'm right back at it. You know what I mean? I'm starting to feel better. Man, I love it out here. You know what I mean? I love it out here in nature. This is this is my sanctuary. You know, this is my heaven on earth, if you will. Man, I just come out here and I listen to the birds. You know, and every now and then I'll see some deer running. You know, and it's just like, oh my God, it's so peaceful and it's so loving, so refreshing, or so rejuvenating. That's not what I want to talk to you guys about today. Family, man, if you feel that any of these videos have helped you, man, share them with somebody that may need to hear it. You know what I mean? Don't, you know, don't just sit on them. You know what I mean? Share the information, family. It didn't cost you anything. You know, it ain't going to cost you anything to send it to somebody else. You know, if they blessed you and, and you want other people to heal, you want other people to learn something, man, share the information, family. You know what I mean? Share the information, you know. Um, if you want to donate to the to channel, man, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? All the information is in the description if that's what you want to do, you know. Sit back, buckle up. Today we're going to go in. And we're going to go in. Uh, I feel my strength coming. You know what I mean? There's something about it. I, man, I'm in a good mood. You know what I mean? But I feel my strength coming in. We're going to go in. You know what I mean? Years ago, I belonged to this group um, in California, in the mountains of California. And it was primarily an older generation, older group. You know, and they were preparing for just anything, natural disaster, you know, World War Three, the collapse of the dollar, just anything of that nature. You know, they were just preparing for that. Stay with me. We're going to go in today. And man, it's going to piss some of you off. It's going to infuriate some of you. It's going to trigger a lot of you. You know what I mean? But it has the ability to heal you and to help you heal. You know what I mean? So stay with me on this one. So in this group. It was primarily an elderly group, you know. There were a few people my age group, you know, at that time I was in my 40s. And, man, it was cool, but it was crazy. They would have all these people come up from all over the country, Idaho, Utah, Texas, Wyoming, just all over. And they would do conventions. And they would talk about all kinds of stuff, you know. Again, um how to barter, um, just all kinds of different things, you know what I mean? And um, survival skills, you know what I mean? Survival skills, going back to the basics, going back to the basics. And they found out that, man, this, I was part of military and they wanted me and they knew that I was a medic. They wanted me to talk about, um, to give a seminar on how to deal with open sucking chest wounds. Stay with me, we're about to go in. And so I'm preparing my notes and my thoughts and, you know, just glad to be part of this group, you know, and getting all my information together and just all of that. Right. And I really it was sitting on me. Right. And it's like I was like, nah, that's not what you're supposed to be talking about. Don't do that. And so I started looking. Anytime you give a speech or anytime you're you're talking to people, the first thing you have to do is know your audience. You have to know the information, but you have to know your audience. You know what I mean? You have to know what level your audience is at. Okay? You can't talk over their heads. You can't talk beneath them or anything of like that. You have to know your audience. Okay? And so, man, I'm getting all this information and meditating on it and talking to God about it. And God was like, nah, that's not what you're talking about. Don't waste your time talking about open sucking chest wounds. Look around you. And what he was telling me is like, Elijah, don't be so caught up that these people ask you to give the speech. Don't get so caught up that these people are coming from all over the place to hear you talk about this stuff. Don't get so caught up that you're gonna be on this stage, on this platform, you know what I mean? Don't get so caught up in that. You have to be you. Stay with me, we're about to go somewhere and some of you ain't gonna like it. And so he was like, man, look around you, take an assessment, look at the people, look at the audience. What do you see? And I'm telling him, I was like, man, guys, it's a bunch of old people. You know what I mean? It's a bunch of old people. 
And I started really thinking about that. It's like, hold up, wait a minute. A open second chest wound most of the time comes from like a gunshot wound. You know what I mean? It could come from a knife or something of that nature also. But great majority of the time it's going to come from a gunshot wound. Okay? And so I'm looking at the people, the audience. And I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. These people in their 60s and 70s, they ain't going through no battle. They ain't ready for no battle. They, they can't handle no war. What the heck am I teaching these people how to handle, how to triage, how to treat a open sucking chest wound for it? They're not going to survive that. And then I started looking and I thought, wait a minute. These people can't get up this hill. We're on this compound. It's like these people can't hike and climb up this hill. These people aren't battle ready in any way, shape or form. I'm going to teach them how to deal with an open sucking chest wound, a gunshot wound. These people ain't going to survive nothing like that. And then I start really looking. It's like, hold on, wait a minute. And the people that are young, people that are my age group, and there's a couple of younger people there. These people are strung out on drugs. And what I mean by drugs, it wasn't that they were on crack or meth or anything of that nature. These people were taking 20 something prescription pills to deal with depression, to deal with their anxiety, to deal with all these other different things. And so God really got me looking at that. And I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to prepare these people to go to war and these people ain't ready for war. These people ain't ready to live in today. Stay with me, today. And so the, the guy was talking to me, he was like, man, I want you to do this and what do you do? And I pulled him to the side. I said, no, nah, I can't do that, man. And he said, why not? He said, man, we've got all these people coming in, man, it's a great topic and da, 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 da. I said, man, I can't do that. In good conscience, I can't do that. And he was like, well, why not? I said, man, you want these people, you want me to teach these people college material. Open sucking chest wound. You want me to teach these people this stuff right here. How to deal with to deal with this stuff right here, right? In the middle of a conflict, in the middle of a battle, you want me to teach these people. You want these people to perform, um, to perform open sucking chest wounds. These people aren't even capable of handling the stress and the pressures of life, and there's nothing wrong. The dollar hasn't collapsed. We're not at war. The electricity's on. The grocery stores are full. Water's running. You have all the luxuries in life right now. And the people are stressed the hell out. The people don't know how to handle their own issues right here, right now. How the hell are they going to handle some battle stuff? It's a crow. It's like, yeah, tell them. You know what I mean? They ain't ready for this. They ain't ready for this. If you can't handle the stresses in your life right now, how the hell do you think you're going to handle the pressure when the dollar collapses? How the hell you think you're going to handle life when the electricity is cut off and nobody knows when it's getting cut back on? How the hell do you think you're going to handle the stresses of the grocery stores being closed up and you can't go buy no food? There ain't no running water. You can't handle the pressure right now of going to work. You can't handle the pressure right now of dealing with your issues. And you think you're going to just automatically be able to take care of all this other stuff. You just automatically think you're going to thrive in all these other worst case scenarios. You out of your rabbit ass mind. You tripping. You tripping for real. You ain't ready for this. And I all the time I see all these people coming to me. Elijah, man, let's chop it up and whoop 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 man. They ready to talk. And I've gotten to the point to where I've had to learn. They ain't ready for this smoke. They ain't ready for this. They talk all this, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, we're going to the fifth dimension and we did it and we did it. And no, you ain't shut the hell up and sit down somewhere and learn something. You don't learn all this college material and you don't even know the basics of how to survive, of how to thrive in the hell hole that you already in. You haven't even mastered living in the third dimension and you talking about you getting elevated to the fifth dimension? Get out of here with that bullshit. Oh, we going in today. I told you some of you ain't gonna like it and it is what it is. You know I don't care. You know what I mean? Get over it.
Get over it. Get over your ego. And that's what it all comes down to. You don't even realize that you're so captivated and so enthralled with your own thoughts and your own intellect and your own quote unquote wisdom. You don't even know that you've been manipulated by your ego. I get all these people. Man, let's chop it up, Elijah. Get all these people wanting to have conversations. All these people wanting to have me, um, me to coach them and mentor them. And they get on the phone and they're talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just listen to them talk for a minute. And man, they're all up here. And they, you know, they on cloud nine. And they, they're so intelligent. And they're so deep. And they're so wise. And they're so profound. And blah, 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 blah. They don't learn the whole bunch of stuff that ain't helping them. Ain't helping them do shit. They got all this information and don't even know the basics. They got all this information. They know all this stuff. And they ain't even mastered their freaking own childhood yet. Ain't even dealt with their own issues yet. But they ain't looking at that. They ain't tripping on that. They ain't focused on that. Because they looking at all this other stuff way up here. And you ain't even past this stuff right here yet. You want to talk to me about God and whoop de whoop you know how great God is and I believe all of that but don't get on here don't contact me thinking that you all that and you ain't ready for it you ain't ready for the heat you ain't you ain't ready to deal with your own shit And so what happens is you get all these people, yeah, 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 yeah. They watch all these other people's videos and they look at all this other stuff, right? And so they think that they know all this stuff and they're at this level right here. They're masters and they're this and they're this and that. They're chosen ones and they're enlightened and they're, and they're Buddha conscious and they got all these other stupid ass titles they don't gave themselves. They ain't earned shit. They ain't earned shit, but they don't give themselves all these quote unquote titles. And then they want to reach out and have a heart to heart conversation with me. And I know what it really is. And so I sit back and I just assess. I just, OK. And so I'm praying the whole time, talking to God the whole time. And he's like, don't say shit. Just listen to him. They like hearing themselves talk. They want to see if they're on your level. They want to see if they could hold a conversation with you or if you could talk to them about this, this, this and that. It ain't about their growth and development. It ain't about them learning and growing beyond their trauma and their drama of their childhood that they've been ignoring their whole damn life. They don't sweat that up under the rug. They ain't even dealing with that. They don't want to deal with that because they don't know how to deal with that. So they ignore it and act like it ain't there. So I sit there and I listen. And every now and then I hear God tell me, say this, 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 and that. And I'll go ahead and say that. And before the conversation's over, that same person that was so arrogant, so narcissistic, so all-knowing, so up here, a master, and whoop de whoop de whoop, they're now crying, breaking down crying. Because now they realize, man, I got to deal with my shit. I didn't realize that my shit was so freaking heavy. I didn't realize that my pressure and the stressors in life was so freaking heavy. I didn't realize that I was drowning in my own sorrow, drowning in my own pity, drowning in my own arrogance. Man, I thought I was up to here. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. Man, now I feel like I ain't crapping. Woo -dee -woo. And man, I'm, man I, I'm having to build them back up. I didn't tear them down. I'm having to build them back up now. We got to grow up. We got to grow up. And the truth is, the great majority of the people in, walking on this planet right here, right now, we talk about how wise we are. We talk about how enlightened this generation is. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop. <laughs> it, it is what it is. This generation's confused. And it ain't just this generation. It's society as a whole right now. It's lost. It's confused. It's confused. They think they know more than what they really do. And to each their own. They're going to have to stumble and fall and find their own way. You know what I mean? This is not about knocking anybody down. This is not about judging anybody or anything of that nature. When you really walk the walk, your light is a reflection. Your light shows people the truth. Your light reveals to people where they're really at. I'm going to say that again. When you really walk in that walk, you ain't got to judge nobody. You ain't got to condemn nobody. 
your light will be an indictment on them. Your light will show them where they really ain't. Your light will show them, damn, I thought I was up here, but just listening to you or just being in your presence, it shows me that, fuck, I ain't nowhere near that. I got a long way to go. I thought I was a lot further along than where I really am. But your light came into my darkness and showed me the truth. And so we get so caught up, family. We get so caught up over people not liking us, people not wanting to be around us, and people this and people that, and our family mistreating us, and our family not liking us, and our family not respecting us, our family not loving us, our family not accepting us and embracing us, and we'll do all this other stupid, childish, immature crap, right? We go through this, right? And so we wonder, and we get so frustrated and so mad and so pissed off because they don't like us, and they this and they did. Family. They ain't ready for that. They ain't ready for that heat. They ain't ready for that smoke. You ain't ready for it. You tripping about how come they don't love you. You tripping about how come they don't like you. You tripping about how come they don't want to be around you. And they, they, your presence makes them uncomfortable. And whoop de whoop de whoop, right? And so you so frustrated and you just so mad and resentful. And you just walking around being a loner because don't nobody like your ass. And you don't quote unquote like people now because don't nobody like you. And don't nobody want to be around you. And whoop de whoop de whoop, right? And we get so messed up over that. So messed up over that. And what God was showing me was like, Elijah, these people are expecting people that don't like themselves to like them. Stay with me. If you don't like you, if you don't love you, how the hell can I turn around and expect and demand for you to like and love me? You don't even like you. You don't even know you. How the hell am I supposed to demand that you know me and that you take the time to get to know me when you won't even take the time to get to know you? I don't care how people talk. People say all kind of stupid ass shit that ain't true all day, every day. People put on the disguise of liking themselves and loving themselves and woo 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 Just because people say that, just because people quote unquote act like they love themselves, don't mean they love themselves. Just because people do all that stuff and say all that stuff, man, don't mean that it's real. People entitled to say whatever the hell they want to say. And they've been doing it since day one. We have to grow up, family. You want these people to like you. You want these people to love you. And they don't even like and love themselves. And that the truth be told, you don't even like and love yourself. And you mad at them for not liking and loving you. You mad at them for not accepting you. You don't even accept yourself. <sighs> Man, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. We're going to keep it real today. That's what this channel is all about. Man, I don't really care about all the praise and all that. I don't care about none of that stuff. None of that stuff matters to me. I don't care about that stuff. Only thing I care about is people growing. People learning how to heal. I love listening to the birds. That's what I care about. That's what I love seeing. I love seeing the transformation in people's lives. I'm not impressed with all the yak, 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 yak. None of that stuff moves me. None of that stuff impresses me. And it shouldn't impress you. It shouldn't impress you. It impresses you because you don't know who the hell you are. When you love you, when you become full of love, when you become full of love, you love everyone. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say it a little slower. When you become full of love, 
you love yourself and you love everyone else. It don't matter what they've done. You don't love other people because you don't love yourself. I'm going to say that again. You don't love everyone else because you don't love yourself. And I know you're not going to like that. I know you're not going to accept that. I know you're going to reject that. And it is what it is. I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. I don't personalize that. I don't personalize what people say, what people do. It is what it is. We have to grow up. And just like these people back in this group, back in California, man, they wasn't ready for that information. You know, they didn't know how to deal with life on a normal basis, but yet they want to learn how to master life for war, for battle, for the worst case scenarios. The great majority of us, we talk about Lemuria, we talk about Atlantis, we talk about all these other things. We talk about ascending, we talk about being chosen, we talk about all this other stuff. And you ain't learned how to deal with your own issues. You ain't never moved beyond the basics. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. My hope and prayer is that, man, you take the time and be honest with yourself. Because you could sugarcoat shit, you could fake the funk, you could wear a mask and a disguise, and most people be captivated by that. Most people are impressed by that, you know, but when you run across somebody that's real, Man, game recognize game, real recognize real. They're going to see right through your bullshit. They're going to see right through your bullshit. I don't care how much you think you know. I don't care how wise you think you are. I don't care how enlightened you think you are. They're going to see through your bullshit. Man, we have to grow up. We didn't come here to impress anybody else. We came here to learn how to deal with our stuff and grow from our stuff and turn around and help other people in the process. That's why we came here. Not to impress other people. You're impressing other, you're trying to impress other people because you don't know who you are, because you don't like who you are, you don't accept who you are, you don't love who you are. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.